Good morning. Heading out to Orchard Road today. So, most travellers to Singapore, and you've done a round of shopping, you're tired, you want some place good, local to eat, you can probably just drop by Far East Plaza. So, I'll probably bring you there now, and let's just take a look at what's there that's good, uh, affordable, hopefully, and really local and delicious. So, let's just walk around and take a look and see what else we have. For today's food hunt, we'll be heading up the shopping mall of Singapore in Far East Plaza, one of the older malls located along Orchard Road. From Orchard MRT, follow the signs to exit 8 and keep left. Head up the Travelator and exit via the next set of Travelators, heading to Marriott Tang Plaza Hotel. Make another right and just head on straight down. As you can see, there's still a crowd in Orchard Road, even though COVID is present. However, because of the government and public effort, Singapore has managed to keep the infection numbers low. Once you see the large neon sign stating level 1, you know you're here. So the first shop we'll be having is a Highlandese Delicacy. Okay, so we got ourselves a nice plate of roast chicken. Really juicy, really tender looking. So I'm gonna give it a try now. A bit of dark soy sauce, a bit of chicken, rice. Sweet dark soya sauce, the rice. Really awesome. And the chicken is really juicy. I'm really surprised because it's normally for chicken breast. It's really dry. But wow, it's so juicy here. The chili. Really hard. So you mix, you get a good mix of the sweetness from the espresso and the partners from the chili. And you bounce between both flavors and it's really good, tasty. Mm. The rice by is really The rice by itself is also good, very flavorful. Cooked with ginger and chicken fat as well. So it's just tasty by itself. But you mix it together with the chicken, put a little bit of the sauces, and you're good to go. Wow. So the uncle here cuts up the chicken and you can actually see, watch them do it. And it's all cut up fresh right in front of you. And once you make your order, the people here are really friendly and nice. Just gonna keep, just gonna stop shoving the chicken rice in my mouth. It's just so good. Next up, I saw this new station snack bar. I recall their food was pretty good, so I decided to take a seat and give it a go. Hi, uh, give me a 15 and a 17. Thank you. Ah, uh, wouldn't mind the Give me a cup. So the dish is here. So I was wondering what was this Kam Hyung dish, and apparently it's some spicy pork dish. It's really flavorful. It looks really flavorful, and it's really fragrant. So let me just taste it. Hmm. 
it's a cross between a satay sauce and with lots of chili. Like a really spicier version of satay sauce. But it really doesn't look like what you expect from a satay dish. Hmm. Give me another bite. So the onions give the initial crunch. The curry leaves itself give it more flavour as compared to just a bland old satay sauce. And overall it makes the dish really spicy. Ah, you can feel the kick. The heat is coming coming in now. So I took a huge bite and there's a bit of heat at the back of my throat right now. And woo, and it's really good. Mm. So there's also the butter milk. Uh, pork ribs. So let me just give it a try. Rather tender. Mm. Very soft. Good crunch on the outside due to the better coating the outside of the pork rib. The sauce itself is a bit salty. Very flavorful, makes you want to bite more. Because each time you bite, the juice from the pork comes out and it's really tasty. It gets more flavorful with each bite. And it's a very big contrast between the Kam Hyung dish as compared to the buttermilk. One is just punching in the face with the spice, and the other one is more of a subtle blend where I guess it just washes away the spike. Wow, not bad. And a bite of the pork, butternut pork. Mm. So you can get this dish with egg as well. Um, with the egg, it actually adds another dimension because the egg is really smooth and creamy. So it's good if you like the yolk flow over the rice. But uh, not for me today. I'm just really full. <laughs> Three dishes. Definitely not not having an egg anymore. So going between the two dishes, you really taste the contrast between them, and it adds a different flavor to each bite. Really good. So let me just finish up here and let me see if I can find dessert after this. Oh, so for the locals in Singapore, if you're interested to come in and eat or if you're interested to try the food but you don't really want to travel out, you can just order. So I'll leave the website on the description box below so help yourself to it. And I really suggest getting the delivery so that you don't have to travel out to town because the food here is really good. Um, there's quite a variety as well. Mm. So I mix the satay sauce together with the buttermilk chicken. So good. Mm. So do consider coming now. Gonna get a drink now, the heavy lunch. Some tea will be good, so I'm gonna get some bubble tea. And, uh, first time trying this Yuan Cha, and uh, let's just see whether it's any good. The milk, oolong, small. Uh, no toppings, no ice as well, thank you. What do you recommend? But the drink by itself is not Yeah, okay. Um, maybe 75? The tea taste is really strong, creamy, milky. Not bad at all. I always normally take koi or playmate, but this is a very refreshing, different, different taste. 
some tea taste. I'll be back again. Wow. That was a heavy lunch. So, some of the meals that we had today, uh, actually all the meals we had today were pretty good. Chicken rice was flavorful, very tasty, and as I mentioned, it was really juicy. The Kamhyeong chicken was really good. And I made a mistake, it wasn't buttermilk chicken, 